Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, September 7th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Friday, I talked about Confluence. Confluence, the project management software there had a vulnerability originally disclosed on August 25th. And well, late last week, we had evidence that this vulnerability is actively being exploited. This is CVE 2021-26084, an OGNL injection vulnerability that can lead to arbitrary code execution. At this point, if you didn't shut down your Confluence server last week, or if you're not using the hosted service from Atlassian, assume that your service got compromised. So this is no longer a patch management issue. This now is becoming an instant response and recovery problem. And just to uh, bring home the scale of this issue, Jenkins, which of course is a very popular automation server for continuous integration and uh, deployment, they state that they got affected by this vulnerability. They say the Atlassian server that was actually compromised here was no longer used. That's of course a classic case where you have assets in a network that uh, are sort of uh, forgotten because they have no longer been used for a while, but nobody's ever got around to actually turn them off. And they state that this did not have any uh, impact on the Jenkins software itself, but Yes, of course, that's the big thing that everybody's afraid of here because Atlassian is often used by development teams that a compromised server here could then lead to the compromise of additional software. Another patch where really it's too late to deploy the patch and uh, you should be in instant response mode now is uh, the exchange proxy shell vulnerability has been abused for weeks now. And yes, of course, ransomware gangs uh, are uh, now using uh, this actively uh, to deploy their ransomware, actually at least for a week, probably uh, two weeks or longer uh, that uh, this has been uh, going on. Sophos has a good write-up on what they're seeing in the ransomware cases from the Conti uh, ransomware. The one advantage you have here, you have a little bit time. It takes them almost a week to actually deploy the ransomware. Until then, they're really more doing reconnaissance, uh, install various backdoors. And it shouldn't be a surprise, but Sophos also points that out that they are installing multiple backdoors. So again, thorough instant response is important here. So you're actually cutting off all access to your network. Well, on August 25th, Emil Lerner tweeted about a presentation he gave about a new vulnerability in GhostScript, apparently affecting all versions later than 9.50. The problem with GhostScript is while it's often being sort of associated with PostScript and something that's not necessarily used a lot. Well, it's actually being used a lot as a back end for uh, image conversion and such, also by Image Magic. And we now have an exploit for this vulnerability that's actually rather straightforward. All it takes is a little SVG file uh, that then pipes uh, the uh, data to a command. And the command is just uh, being executed as the file is being converted. This is likely very exploitable via a lot of uh, mobile and web applications that allow file uploads and then do some conversions to, for example, convert image types or even resolutions and such, which then may trigger the vulnerability. So watch out for any updates that are coming down the pipe here. And if you have any code that does use image magic, you may want to take a look at the proof of concept and see if it works for you. Personally, didn't work for me on sort of a plain vanilla uh, system, but uh, haven't really played much with it. So uh, maybe it's already patched or maybe I just used the wrong image format or so for the actual conversion. 
And Netgear on Friday released an update for its smart switches. These are uh, Netgear switches that essentially start with GC, GS, or MS and the vulnerabilities addressed here include uh, authentication bypass. And I'll probably not a big deal for you uh, because if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably not exposing the admin interface of your switches to the world. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.